already being affected by the, the, star, the storm that has fallen over the Bahamas. And I know I had went to the Bahamas some years back, and it was a nice little place, but I knew that those people, a lot of those people, they made their living on the tourism. And I said, Lord, how mercy is not that much high land there. I even went on the bus, you know, up on the little mountain peak or whatnot, where they were selling little gadgets and clothing and stuff. And I said, Lord, just have mercy on the people. And I know the Lord is talking in these last and evil days. I know we're living in the last and evil days. And I just thank the Lord for the position that he has allowed me to be in. It's no goodness of my own. That he has allowed me to find some holiness. And I thank the Lord I don't have no mind and no time to go back out in that meeting world that we're living in. Because I know the Lord is talking to everybody. He's talking to his son, to his brain and everything. And I just thank the Lord that I realize his power. I respect him. I fear him with all my heart. And I just want to do what's right for every in and everybody. I thank the Lord too for how the Lord allows me. The other day I was talking to one of the mothers back home and she was telling me about how one of her nieces had found out that she had a little spot on her lung. And I had been doing research on food and everything for over a year, just, just gathering up different information on different things. And I thank the Lord I was able to go back into where I had stashed information about cancer and different things with seed on it, how it does in the body. And I was able to send her several different you know, uh, text, videos and stuff on what she needs to send to her niece and tell her her niece is going to be all right. And she just try to do the little things, try to change the way that, um, you know, her habits and whatnot. I believe she'll be all right. And I thank the Lord. She said her niece has the faith and she's praying that the Lord will touch and heal her body. And I'm also praying for the different ones as well. I thank the Lord for how the Lord has made me. I'm not selfish about sharing certain things with people. I just thank the Lord for all things in Jesus' name. Just keep not only myself, but keep the ones that's being affected by it. And all of these different things that are coming upon this earth. Yeah. This is great thank the Lord, God, the Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for sending His Son, His Son giving His life. And allowing us this great chance to worship, praise, and to honor him. Always glad for the word because if it wasn't for the word that everybody, everything would be right, but the word of God is the thing which is right, the thing which we must believe. Is that right? Amen. Believe God. As the scripture says, believe him as the scripture has said. So we're glad. Well, okay, we're going to turn to 1 John. We're going to go to 1 John, the epistle of John, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, his workmen. In the epistle, see what it says there. That was, one thing I can say, it's always something good that can come out of the Word of God, isn't it? Always something good that we can, we can receive from the Word of God. So, we're certainly glad for this great chance and this an opportunity in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're, we're certainly glad for that. We'll begin at verse 1 in 1 John, the first chapter. Let's see what it says. That which was from the beginning, mm -hmm. which we have heard. That which was from the beginning, which we have, which we have heard. Go ahead. Which we have seen with our eyes, uh, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. But remember, that was from what? The beginning. Is that right? Sometimes people wonder about Jesus. Jesus was from the beginning. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Jesus was from the beginning. Amen. He was there at the beginning, that which we have, which was from the beginning, which we heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled, it says, of the word of life. 
read the book. Uh-huh. For the life was manifested. For the life was the life that was there was manifested. And we have seen it. And we've seen it. And bear witness. Bear witness. And show unto you that eternal life. And show unto you the eternal life. The eternal was, life, which was where? Which was with the Father. What? Which was with the Father. And was manifested unto us. Which was with the Father. That life. Is that all right? Amen. Was with the Father. And was manifested unto us, made known, Amen. brought to light, Amen. brought into existence. Amen. Read the book. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you. That which we seen, and we, we heard it, we declare it unto you. That ye also may have fellowship with us. Right, now listen to this right here now. We tell you about it so that you can have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is Our truly, our fellowship is where? Is with the Father. Wait a minute. Is with who? Is with the Father. Anybody else? And who else? With his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. That's where our fellowship is. With the Father. With the Father. And, and with his son. So we can't Jesus listen to me. Christ. Saints. We just want to have an understanding and believe God according to the scripture. Amen. If the scripture says a thing, we have to believe God as the scripture has said. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. We have to come into the understanding according to the scriptures. Amen. The scriptures gives us the explicit information about God, how we should believe God, is written in the scripture. You got to argue about it. It's already there. Amen. It's already written. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. All right, read that again. That which we have seen. That which we have seen. And heard. Now they talking about what they see. And you can talk about what you've seen and heard, right? Yeah. Amen. You know, that's why the judge, when you when a judge you're in the courtroom, they say, Where's the witnesses? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And they want you to come. And sit down because you're a witness. And they want to hear what you say. Because you being a witness can determine what happens to an individual. Is that right? Well, we got to believe God according to the witnesses. The witnesses talk about it. Though we weren't there. Though we weren't in the presence of the Lord Jesus when he rose from the dead. No, we weren't there to touch him. Amen. No, we weren't there to see him. But that's why the scripture teaches us that we should believe him according to the scripture. Amen. And because we don't see him, we're blessed. Yes. Blessed are they that have, we haven't seen him. Yes. Is that right? Amen. We haven't touched him like they did. Amen. But we believe on what? The witness. That's right. The judge ain't there. Those in the jury, they, they weren't there. Amen. But they the testimony is so sure and so true and so convincing yes, until they say, well, uh, you have to believe what the witnesses say. Amen. They all call just more than one. They call more than one witness, though. Amen. So we have a testimony from more than just one. Is that right? Scripture teaches us the promise that came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of God. Amen. They spake and they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. And and God's witness is true. Amen. <laughs> the thing God has given us is true. That's what we have to believe on. Believe on Him as the scripture has said. Amen. If somebody say it, it's not and the scripture say it is, who you going to believe? That's right. Now you may not even understand it. You may, see, it's like sometimes we may not understand the scripture thoroughly like we understand certain things. 
but you believe it according to the scripture and be honest in your heart and God will help you. That's why Paul said like this. Consider what I say. And the Lord will do what? He'll give you understanding in all things. Some things you just, you can't seem to, to, to put it together. But you pray and ask God, God go open because he said, one water and one planet, God will give you something. He's going to give you some increase. Amen. Increase in what? Your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding of him. What he said? St. John 1 and verse 7. Well, what St. John 1 and 7 said, Rick? 1 and verse 6. Let's hear it, my brother. There was a man sent from God and whose name was John. Mm -hmm. The same came for a witness. The same did what? The same came for a witness. He came for a witness. To bear witness. To, he came for a witness to bear witness. Of the light. Of the light. That all men through him might believe. Amen. Amen. Now he came and bear witness of the light. One scripture say he was not that light. He, was he, not that he was not that light. Remember who that light was. Jesus, Jesus is the light of what? The world. The world. Amen. John came to bear witness Amen. of that light. It's like, and, and, and you know, the Lord, the Father of all, worked so miraculous in John's life, didn't he? He worked so greatly in John's life, and John was able to do. And to be what God would have him, because John was born with Zacharias. You know, his mother's name was Elizabeth. And the great thing is, he was wondering, hey, can I have this child, this old age, and all these things. And the scripture teaches how John was going to be filled with the Holy Ghost, Amen. even from his mother's womb. Amen. Is that right? Amen. He was not that light. But he was sent to bear witness yes. because he was a forerunner Amen. of the light to come. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And Jesus was that light because that same John saw him coming. Yes. Huh? Amen. Is that right? Amen. The light, the lamp of God. Is that right? That taking away the sins of the world. He's the light of the world. Yes, he is. Is that all right? Amen. He was bearing witness. And even in the, 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 the passage, of scripture when it talks about how that Mary, is that right, was Elizabeth, it was related. And she went up to the hill country to talk to uh, Elizabeth to see her and both of them being pregnant. Is that right? One with the Savior and one with the forerunner. Lord Jesus. Is that right? The Savior's mother by birth went up there to talk to her cousin. Is that right? And she began to expound unto her, glory to God, what happened to her. And how that the angels came and said, Mary, thou art highly in favor among women. Is that right? Amen. God just saw some men and that holy thing that shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Amen. Didn't he do so? Lord Jesus. Went up there and expressed that to uh, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, the glory to God, when she heard the salutation, Thank you, Jesus. the baby, glory to God, the baby leaped. Yes. And any of you mothers that have had babies in your womb, you know how that feels. But something extraordinary happened Amen. when that baby leaped, and when she heard that salutation, she was filled with the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Just from hearing. The good news, you know, when you hear good things, it, it brings joy, don't? Amen. 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 And she being, she heard that salutation. Scripture said a baby leaped in her womb. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. And then what happened? She was filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Read the book, my beloved. Luke. Let's hear. It. Luke, first chapter. Six. Yes. Sir. Start at, we'll start at verse thirty. Let's hear what it says. For with God. For with God. Nothing shall be impossible. Y'all hear that? Amen. Amen. Now, you know what? When you think about that, that, that should close all cases. Jesus. Should nobody have to say, wonder, or meditate, or think, is it possible to have any doubt? What we got to believe, according to the scripture, with God, with God, yes. with Jesus. God, Jesus. with God, Jesus. with, see, don't we 
we may think and have doubt, but with God, mm -hmm. nothing, yeah. nothing shall be possible. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Thank you, with God. Amen. That's something to something think about. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about that when we were in prayer, and I'd be in prayer sometimes, and I think about, I think about Elijah. And you ever, ever really thought about what the scripture says about him? Do you know what the scripture says? The scripture says like this, that Elisha was a man like passion, as we are. It wasn't that he was so this or the other, but he was like passion, like we are. He was that passion as we are. Mm -hmm. He understood just like you do. But he Lord. prayed uh -huh. earnestly. earnestly. Mm -hmm. See, you can get up and you can pray earnestly about it. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me when you got a man like glory to God, like passion as we are, and he prayed to God that it might not rain? Lord Jesus, I see it. Lord Jesus. And it Jesus. didn't Lord, rain. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. For the I don't know why he was praying that prayer. Mm. But the Spirit had him praying. Amen. And he was a man like passion. See, your prayers can get somewhere. Amen. Being sincere, being real and asking God. Amen. If you got to pray for this thing every day. Lord, I want yes, the Holy Jesus. Ghost. Lord, I want knowledge. Amen. Yeah, that's sincere prayer every day. Amen. Don't you know God going to do something? Yeah. Hallelujah. Because the scripture Jesus, said, Jesus. Elijah yeah. was a man like you got to let this. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to talk to the Lord. Amen. Just since, as since, let me put it like this. Oh, Jesus. Jesus said, I'll tell you heavenly things. You believe not, I've got to tell you heavenly things. Gentlemen, you know how sincere you was when you was talking to your wife and the things that you express to her. And one of the, the man said it so sincerely, so honestly, he seemed to be so real until you received it. Did you do so? Amen. And then you look for those promises and those things that he said he would do. Those of you that haven't experienced that, maybe one day you will. Because a man going to say something to you. Amen. And he's going to say it to you because he's trying to convince you that he is who he said he is and what he said he is. Is that right? And you receive that. Well, Elijah, a man like passion, talking to the Father. Talking, is that right? And something happened. Evidently, his speech and his prayer was so sincere until God honored him. Ain't that amazing? Amen. You mean to tell me that prayer was so sincere, so real, until it stopped raining? Yes. God stopped the rain for it. Amen. For Lord three Jesus. years and six months. Jesus, Jesus. That's something to think about. Yeah, now I know we are not praying for the rain, but to, to be stopped with I know a lot of us didn't. I know we had prayer on for those people that the storm would turn and go another way. Yeah. But God did what He had to do. Yeah. Yeah. Some things said, "Well, He 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 heard, but He because it could it could be worse." Yeah. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. We have to be thankful Lord to Jesus. God. Jesus. For what he's done. Yes. Is that right? Amen. I can't help because God stopped it for so long, but that's that's the way he operated. Amen. Lord Jesus. But the point is, a man can pray to God and stop rain. Amen. So just think about yourself. He gave that to us. So it's not all we got to do is be sincere in prayer. That's right. Amen. And pray. Some people say, well, you know, pray one time. Listen to me. Hallelujah. I Thank think you, you can pray. 
Scripture didn't say how many times he prayed. But he was a man like Pastor Israel, and he, he prayed to God that it might not rain. And it did rain. You know, you think, what? What is it I can pray to God for that could, that's a, you know, that was an impact on the world. Yes, it was. That's that, 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 Thank you, Jesus. So then, if one Thank man you, can do it, Lord Jesus. in sincerity, what can we pray for that God is here? Lord Jesus. And his name, as a collective group of people, what is it that we can say we want to pray for and pray earnestly about him? Lord Jesus. Because the scripture said he was a man. Didn't he say so? Like passion as we are. That's a blessing, isn't it? To know that we can pray. Sincerely. And be heard. And I'm talking about not in a small way, in a large capacity. What the book says. For with God, for with God, Nothing shall be impossible. That's the, that's the point right now. With God, sometimes we think, listen, with God, ain't nothing impossible. Ain't nothing impossible. Mm -hmm. What he said. And Mary said, Behold. Mary said, Behold. The handmaid of the Lord. The handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Be it unto me according to thy word. Because the angel had talked with her. Is that right? And had told her, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, she was God. God can impregnate a woman and a man ain't touched her. But we know naturally, that's how we all got young. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Mom and dad got together, boom. Here you go, dad dropped the seed. Mom had the head weight, boom. It happened so long, here you are. Right. Mm -hmm. But God is overshadowed. Mm. And that, those are mystery things. And man try to figure out. You can't look at the way you do things and the way we got them like God do it. That's right. Like, what, this, we look at it thinking our car of mind. Well, this, no. God can do with God. And nothing shall be impossible. Mm. Nothing. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Look at, look at Abraham and Sarah. I know they was old people. You figure, man, a hundred something years old, wife out ninety. What a woman doing looking like getting pregnant at night? God, nothing. God can get a man strength and have a seed to drop. Give her enough strength. Is that right? In a age and a witness time. After so long, all that supposed to be the path forward. But see, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. See, that's how we have to believe. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Believe God. Lord, you're there. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. I know we can have doubt, but if it's God, Amen. Amen. with God, truly, with God, ain't nothing. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. It's something so hard for God. Jesus. Once you said, now they're able to do more, did he say so? Exceeding of God. Ain't nothing yeah. too hard for God. Nothing. But with God, Jesus, Jesus. nothing. nothing. Is that all right? Amen. I mean, so Thank God wants to believe you. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You, know, you got to work that down. He can move Jesus. that too. What he says, right? And Mary said, Behold, the Mary said, of the, Lord. the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Yes. And the angel departed from her. And the angel departed from her. She was willing. She let it be according to what you said. Yes. Go ahead. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country. She went haste. to the hill country in a hurry, in haste. 
into a, into a, into a city of Judea. Yes. And entered into the house of Zacharias. Zacharias. And saluted Elizabeth. And saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. That when Elizabeth heard the salutation. When she of Mary, heard the salutation of Mary. The baby leaped in her womb. Uh huh. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Is that all right? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. She spake out with a loud voice. Speak out with a loud voice. And said, What she said? Blessed art thou among women. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord Listen to that. should come to hey, me? What is it to me that the mother of my see, but she, remember the reason she's talking like she's talking is because she didn't heard the salutation. Mary done talk with you know women, you know how y'all get together and talk. Yes. Is that right? You you women can understand, you know, it's like the thrill of one saying, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, you pregnant. Get all excited. Well, she got so excited. Until and the baby heard when she heard the salutation, you know that's amazing though, isn't it? Yeah. When she heard the salutation, it did something with the baby in her womb by her hearing. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? Yeah. It took effect on the baby. Now that that's real deep, devil. Yeah. That's some that is something to me within itself. Yeah. Huh? Read the book. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Uh -huh. And lo, as soon as the voice of, the, of thy salutation sounded in my ears. When the voice of your salutation sounded in my ears. The baby leaped in my womb. The baby leaped leap in my womb. For joy. Ain't that some joy? And then leaping in the womb for joy, she was filled with the Holy Ghost. Man. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Amen. See, John was coming along six months prior. Remember, John was that light. He was sitting to bear witness of that light. He wasn't the true light, but he was sitting to bear witness of the light. Remember, because John, he was speaking. John said, you know, Consider what he's saying. He said because the the baby, he was he was at the point of saying he was before him. You know he was preferred before me, for he was before me. Is that all right? That's the talk John was telling people. That's all right, isn't it? But just hearing the salutation, what God was able to do. Read the book. Saint Saint John one and verse. What it says. John bear witness of him and cried, saying, John 1 15 says, What? John bear witness of him. John bear witness of him. And cried, saying, And cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. This is what I was talking about. He that cometh after me. He that cometh after me. Is preferred before me. He is preferred before me. For he was before me. Is that all right? He was, before. but John came first. Mm -hmm. Remember what John was? He was a forerunner of Christ. Read the book. We get back over in John. We just was touching, touching some things. It's good, isn't it? Amen. Amen. First, let's touch on John. Yeah, we thank God for the word. That which was from the beginning. That which was from the beginning. Which we have heard. Uh -huh. Which we have seen with our eyes. And which we have looked upon. Uh -huh. And our hands have handled. Uh -huh. Of the word of life. Read the book. For the life was manifested. Uh -huh. And we have seen it. Life was manifested. We seen it. And bear witness. And bear witness. And show unto you that uh -huh. eternal life. And show unto you that eternal life. Which was with the Father. Which was with the Father. And was manifested unto us. And was manifested. Unto us. All right, read the book. 
That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you. That which we have seen and we have heard, we have declared it unto you. That ye also may have fellowship with us. That you can have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father uh -huh. and with his Son, yes. Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. And these things, these things write we unto you. That your joy may be full. Yeah, we want your joy. We want your joy. You see what happened when, when uh, Elizabeth heard of that, don't you? She heard that child, just, the baby jumped and leaped in the womb for joy. Yeah. Just hearing. Just, she hearing it, and in effect, that that what was in her. Amen. God, is a, God can do great things, y'all. Yeah. God help us Lord to believe. Jesus. Lord God Jesus. help us to Jesus. believe. Lord Jesus. What the book say? This then is the message. All right, let's see what this then is the message. Which we have heard of him uh -huh. and declare unto you that God is light. God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. Amen. Ain't no darkness. Amen. You can't Hallelujah. say there's darkness in God. Ain't no, ain't no darkness in God. At Amen. all. Ain't none at all. Read the book. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. If we say we got fellowship with him, and then we're gonna walk walk in darkness, what he say? We lie. We lie. And do not the truth. If we say we have fellowship with him, we lie and do not the truth. Read the book. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. Yes. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son. And the blood of Jesus Christ. His son, what does it do? It cleanses us from all sin. The blood, it cleanses us. Thank you, Jesus. Is that all right? Amen. The Thank blood you, cleanses us. Thank you know, the blood had a lot to do even when they was getting ready to come out, out of Egypt. Amen. 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 It Amen. was the blood over the door pole yes. that caused the angel, the death angel, to pass by. Yes, Lord Jesus. It's the blood now. When our sins Thank you, are forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. So we got to understand, truly, saints, Thank you. when we repent of our sins, mm. be baptized in the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus. because of the shedding of Jesus' blood, yes. our sins are cleansed, yes. are forgiven. Amen. Is that right? Amen. That's why it's so important for us to strive to continue Amen. to walk in the newness of life. Jesus. We don't want to go back into sin. Yes. We want to go back into doing old Thing that we once was forgiven for. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Lord well, help us. What he said, Rick. Amen. If we say that we have no sin, yeah, I know, oh, now listen to what the word say. If you say you ain't got no sin, we deceive ourselves. You're fooling your own self. Why? And That's the right. truth is not in us. Don't know that you ain't got no sin. That's right. All was yeah. going well. In sin, don't come to my you don't have I don't care who it is. That's right. We deceive ourselves. It could be the Pope, it could be the Mother, they could be they all were born in sin. It don't matter who you are. Amen. People were born in sin. Jesus. You can't say you ain't got no sin. Amen. We don't want to continue in sin. Should scripture says should we continue? We don't want to continue in sin Amen. in things of darkness. Amen. We want to be free from that. Yes, Lord. We don't want to continue in sin. Amen. We might slip, but we're gonna get up yeah. and repent of our sin. What he said? If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. We deceive ourselves. And what else? And the truth is not in us. Ain't no truth in you. If we confess our sin. Now what's going to happen? Now, when you confess your sin, what are you doing? You are then acknowledging it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, sir. One scripture says, open confession is good for the soul. Because when you confess, you, you're going to tell the truth. I'm wrong. I was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. I was wrong. That's why we ain't done done wrong. You ain't need to try to lie and all that, try to work your way out. Just say, you know what? I was wrong. The scripture says, if we what? Acknowledge. If we confess our sins, we what happened? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. He's what? Faithful and just to forgive us our sins. If you go, see, when you confess your sin, you acknowledge Lord, I'm, I was, I'm wrong. You just look at yourself, I'm wrong. Lord, I'm wrong. Yeah. Lord, you, I'm wrong. I need help. Yes. I'm wrong. Lord, I acknowledge that. Yeah. 
See, when you know that you're wrong, you, you, you ain't trying to hide nothing. Amen. What you trying to hide? Lord, I want to be Jesus. right. Straighten me out. Jesus. Help me out. Amen. Lord Jesus. Is that right? If we confess our sins, he is faithful. He is faithful and just and just to forgive us our sins. And to forgive Lord us Jesus. our sin and do what? To cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So then the Lord Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sin. And then as when he forgives us, he gonna what? Clean us up. Is that all right? Amen. Don't you want to be cleaned up? Amen. Amen. So that's what the Lord will do. What else? If we say that we have not sinned. All right, well, let's, let's see what happens if you say you ain't got no sin. See, the thing you just got to call it what it is. I acknowledge it. It's just like I tell somebody, I ain't, I ain't fat, I ain't this, I ain't, I ain't that, I ain't that. You, you don't want to acknowledge it. I'm not this way. I'm not this way. I'm not this way. I'm not this way. I'm still this way. Acknowledge it. Yes, I am. That's why I love, I think, that honesty is the, one of the greatest things that we can have working within us. Yeah. You know, honesty. You know, yes, I am that. I did do that. You know, acknowledging. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If what we, else? If we say that we have not sinned. If we say that we have not sinned. We make him a liar. Oh, see? So you're trying to make the Lord Jesus a liar? Mm. If you say you ain't sinned, you say you make him a liar. And what else? And his word is not in us. Then, because according to the word, if we're going to be like the word, we're going to have to acknowledge our sin and say, I'm wrong. He's right. But if we say that we have not sinned, you make him a liar. I ain't never sinned. Shut up. You lying. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're going to say you ain't never sinned. You're a liar. Amen. You know why? You know the scripture is saying? All have sinned. All have sinned. If we say that we have not sinned, the, the same one say, if you say you have not sinned, the same one said that all have sinned. Now who's right? That's right. It don't matter who it is. Man. I ain't never seen it. Quit lying. Mm -hmm. Nobody can't point no fingers at nobody. That's right. Mm -hmm. All the sin, but what, what we want to be, we want to be free from sin and come out of sin and do what God wants us to do. That's why we have the word of God. Finish reading that, we're going to shut it down. If we say that we have not sinned, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar. Well, you make him a liar. And his word, and his word is where? Is not in us. It's not in you. Because if you believe God according to the word, you're going to acknowledge that you have what? Mm -hmm. 